And we are back. Sorry about that chat. Um, took a little bit to restart everything, but it looks like we still have time. The night is young. Let's go ahead and jump right back into Metal Unit. Although I'm kind of bummed out because since the game crashed in such a terrible manner. Um, and also it says here cloud, sync status, uh, cloud status is out of sync. That could only mean that I don't know what that I don't like out of door this is going actually well let's see what happens oh you've got to become no 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 you're not deleting my save don't fucking delete my save please cloud status uploading I really hope it did not delete my save just now, because I have spent more than a few hours in this game, man. I don't really feel like playing this from scratch. Oh, come on! Where's my save? Bruh. Wait. Recoupal? Recoupal is a developer of Metal Unit? No fucking way. I was wondering why they seem so interested in watching me play Metal Unit. Well, I do have cloud saves in this game. That's why... But... The game... My computer hard crashed midway through the game, as you saw, and... I'm not offline. Well, okay, I am offline, but that shouldn't... I don't know why that would matter, but okay. I can't believe Recoup, one of my followers, is actually a developer of Metal Unit. But now it's like... What's this? So, wait, the game deletes a save if you hard crash, then? Wow, and there's a reference here to Valhalla, no less. Joe and A. That's cute. To be honest, Pastel, I might have to end up
quitting this game because apparently my save is gone. And that's 21 hours gone. I'm not sure if... I'm honestly kind of pissed. I'm not really sure if I could bring myself to play through all of that again. As long as it took to unlock all those items and to get legendaries and shit like that. Because God Almighty, was that... 21 hours of my life that will not be able to finish. I don't understand how what how this was coded in such a way how why it is that game save files would be deleted. What is this like old games where the save file gets corrupted or something or what? I don't think a game like this even has anti-cheat. Why would it? I mean, it's freaking... Oh my fucking god. That's that's bad game design. I understand not being able to manually save and the game saves right after or saves right after you just leave a stage so you can't go back and unfuck a bad run. But there's got to be a system so, unless this is like a compromise that they made so that um you can't if you can't rig the cheat the system right because now everything is gone and it was through bad luck or something going wrong with my system like at least i don't know save a backup or some shit somewhere no no even even beyond that why did it not load up the version that's saved in the cloud Like, where the fuck is the version that's in the saved in the cloud? That's the whole point of cloud saving. Like, what the hell is the point? Let's try that. Let me do this really quick first.
All right, so this is still here. So this is, and maybe there's some error going on because I found exactly this, what they are talking about. And it says here, left the last saved at 650, so unless it's saved over... Oh no. All right, so I was going to ask this after today's stream, but what game do y'all think we should move on to next? Because if I can't fix this, I really don't feel comfortable playing this game anymore, at least not for a while, not until I'm not as pissed as I am right now. And believe me, um, I don't like showing, or I don't like getting pissed off on stream. It's kind of embarrassing, but this has soured me way too much to continue playing this. Right now, I mean, I can't even be optimistic about this and be like, oh, it's just an opportunity knowing how to better play this game to do a better job or some shit like that, because this is ridiculous. There's got to be a better way to make it so that you're playing the game in a difficulty as developers want without tying the save system in such a way that it hard deletes. Like, I don't understand how that can happen. This is the sort of thing I would expect from a game in the 2000s or earlier. Or at least a reason like, oh, the save file got corrupted. Except, of course, that that can't be the case either because the game wasn't mid-save when it did that. Maybe we'll just go straight back into Outward, I guess. Or play Galaxies, I don't know. Either way, I really don't want to play this right now. Or for the immediate future. Because that's, that's kind of ridiculous. Hmm. Feel really shitty too because I was like, oh, maybe we should go try to finish the game today. No, let's go keep grinding and unlock all the other items. But no, then this happens. Not that I 
have any like fantasy that I'm going to beat the game in one sitting anyway because like I don't know what's going to happen in the last stage but now I can't because my save is gone it's so fucking ridiculous God. I guess another reason I'm kind of pissed. I guess another reason I'm kind of pissed off is the fact that, of course, my computer would fuck up in this manner, you know? Like, why am I not even fucking surprised? Why is that fucking up still? And I really like this game too, like, this feels like a stab in the gut from a lover or something. The fucking fact that I unlocked an achievement that was a reference to Valhalla is also just salt in the wound, like... I'm fucking... This is kind of ruined tonight's stream. But the show must go on. Can't spend the whole stream just bitching about my problems. We need to do something else with our time. Really hope Recoupal doesn't try to pop, doesn't pop into stream to say hello and stuff because I might say something rude and offensive, which is not really their fault. I'm sure they have their reasons for the way they code, they, way they code things in the game, but if I were to write a review on this now, I can't give this higher, give, can't give higher than a 7 out of 10 for this out of using an arbitrary scoring system because this is fucking ridiculous. There's gotta be a technical reason for why it's like that, because it's dumb. That's that's really bad game design. That's a huge fucking oversight on the part. And also, um, I'm not very like so. I mean, I've all the forward out of metal unit before. Probably not while the game was not while the game was not while I was in mid game. Maybe in menu. So, what the fuck does this have to do with anything? Like... What, did it take this kid 11 days to get back wherever the fuck he was? And the cloud system... Did it fucking write over the save in the cloud too or something? Like, why? I mean, I guess I 
At least I kept all my achievements. Yeah, look at all this cool crossing over. Was that weapon from a different game? I mean, this game was full of references to other games, I guess, but... If I ever play this game again, I'm playing it on a hardcore, on a hardcore mode. Or something. It probably won't be as difficult because I know what everything does, at least through the first three levels, but... It's a dick move to downvote the game for just a stupid save system, but... This is a really dumb idea. No, I just thought of even, uh, I don't know, using a system restore or some stupid shit like that to go back to a time when the save file for Metal Unit was still the one that was not fucked. But that's definitely, that's overkill even for me. This game was coded in Unity. So what I'm going to do next time is save a copy of this shit over here the next time I play this game so that if this ever happens again as a last resort I can just put that in there. Might as well check the other pages, see if it, what else was said about the game. Oh, there were different difficulty options at one point. This guy's bitching about a non issue. That is true.
No. We're not playing any more middle unit tonight. I don't know when we'll play Metal Unit again. Maybe far in the future when I blow up as a VTuber or some shit like that. And be like, hey, let's revisit games that I started, I started playing early in my career. Like one which made me rage like a lot on stream. Oh, right, AdWords on GOG, so I'll need to get GOG running in order to play that. Visible Anger. So how's everyone else's day going? Getting rolled in Titanfall 2 or Team Fortress 2? Do I dare play? I, I'm not going to play Cyberpunk 2077 on stream. I still don't know how people are dealing with the whole fact that you get naked in that game. And Twitch likes to be an asshole about that. this up here again. Uh, Team Fortress 2. I haven't played that in a while. Probably should. By the way, installed a Visa mount and a key and a Elgato key light. So now I'm running four monitors. It's working out so well, well so far, all things considered.
Ay, 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 ay. And before this game also crashes. Hey, Steel. Glad you could come. Hey, Midnight. Hey, Lu. Sorry. Sorry, Luna. Do you want to be. Would you like me to call you Midnight or Luna? Which one? Also, why is that. Why is it doing that? There we go. How are you two tonight? Welcome to the stream. We were playing metal units, and I was hoping to do a few runs to finish the dragon set. Since we were on the last stage anyway. Okay, I'll call you a midnight since you prefer that. And then my computer crashed, and I discovered that my save file for metal unit was deleted. And it had overwritten the save file, a cloud save as well. So that's 21 hours of metal units that I will not be able to get back, that we won't be able to play from again. And I'm frankly kind of pissed. So instead, we're going straight into Outward. Oh, okay. I hope you have a good nap, but thank you for stopping by um, to see my stream. You know I always appreciate that. I'm just kind of triggered right now. Like, hyper-triggered. I've never been so upset. I've It's been a while since I've been upset, so upset with a game. To make things worse, I also found out that one of our ardent followers here, uh, Recoupal, you know, you've seen them around, Recoupal. They keep watching us play Metal Unit. They're really fun to have around. Turns out that they're actually the developer of Metal Unit. So I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? God. But I've bitched enough about Metal Unit. I don't know when we're going to go back to that game. Maybe when I'm done being angry. Instead, let's set out into a wild blue yonder. This is another game that's also indie. Which is also known for an ex for extreme difficulty, which also has auto saving, and I hope also doesn't corrupt itself to where I lose all of my progress. And right now, I'm wishing that it had an easier way that it had an easier way of um, saving quests so you know where to go. But maybe I should just get in the habit of actually writing down these things. So. Um, is there a way to stop the flow of time so I can explain to the part to the chat what's going on? So basically, I have only five days now four to. Is my voice still out? Not probably in the valve index, but not here. I have like a few. I have four days to make some money to pay back a blood price in this town before they steal my lighthouse home. Make me homeless and kick me out on my feet. Shit, you lost two weeks of in-game progress and persona? Man, that would make me piss off too. So, a couple things in this game. Um, I've been asked to go to a certain cave to the northwest of this northwest of this town, somewhere up here, to go pick up an item or some kind. And also my friend Yuzan told me I can find his stash of goodies in a shipwreck somewhere to the southeast or somewhere. Now that I'm filled up with drink and food, I feel confident to go out there and explore the world as it is. Holy shit, that music's loud. Need something? All right. Are you gonna let? Me, are you? Do you think I can survive more than two seconds outside now? Are you gonna let me leave? Okay. Um, I'm going outside. Well, you got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. Mastering these is the key to survival out in the wild. Well, let me teach you one for the weapon you're currently holding. 
I think I want to learn a different weapon. Give me a minute, Barak. As Seth told says that, or either a review or Seth said, warned me about this, where your first, your skill that you learn is based on whatever weapon you're holding at a time. But I like the fact that they ask you first if this is the weapon you actually want to learn. And since I'm still here anyway, let's go ahead and fill up our water skin before we head outside. Oh my god, that is so time-consuming, man. I would be angry too if I lost a save full of that stuff. Giving someone a head pat. So yeah, Steel, that's the reason why I'm triggered as all hell right now. Because 21 hours of fucking metal unit progress gone in the blink of an eye. Um, and you know what makes it worse? Um, when my computer was freezing up, I decided to use up all of my um, items. Um, to unlock stuff and I unlocked an achievement when you mix the potions together you get the achievement called Joanna which as you may have guessed is a reference to Valhalla so the developer Recupo has taste right but then I'm like this just need anyway, something I need to choose also the um the fucking There we go. Much better. Do I want to use this weapon? Um, I don't know. Uh, what weapons do we got here? We got axe, we got hatchet. I guess I could get my quarter staff and use that, right? You know, I actually don't know what I want to learn. I mean, we're so early in the game. So, like... Oh, you can block with this. I mean... So, what do I want to use? Truth is, I don't know what I would like to use, honestly. So early in the game, I haven't gotten a chance to try all these weapons, so what if I find a weapon that I do like? Am I just shit out of luck with that skill? Can I have you teach me a, a skill with the hatchet? Need something? Well, you got the essentials at least. Here. There you go. Mastering skills is the key to survival out in the wild. You should look for trainers whenever you visit a new town. They usually group near training equipment. Others need to be sought out. Okay, cool. All right. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Sure. Farewell. Wish me luck, Burak. Game volume is loud. Alright, let me uh, lower it a little bit on you guys then. I guess it's kind of competing with my voice right now, isn't it? Hmm. Honestly, it was the background music of this first era, Chernosis, Chernosis, 
that made me decide to tr get the game after all. Okay, so I got a skill, but how do I use the skill? Ooh, this is... This is fairly useful. Oh, and you can assign... Okay... That's cool. You can assign you assign you assign the attack buns to Q and E. <laughs> you can throw your lantern. That's so so that's why you there's a benefit to bringing a lot of lanterns with you. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Now I can kick people with E. Or slash them in the leg. Pace is the game volume still too loud? Oh. That is loud. What the shit? Or rather, the sound effects are really loud. For slashing and stuff. Such a sucker for adventure games like this. And also, great music to go with it. Kinda wish there was a first person mode, but... I guess it would make combat a little bit more difficult than it need be. I will not be speed hacking this game either. I like the exploration part. Even if it does take a long time, you know? Let me know if the volume needs to be reduced even more, by the way. Alright, so where is... Where where are we? We're in City Sure No. Okay, and... This game does not have waypoints, and you have to make your own waypoints, and it doesn't have a... doesn't show you in the map. So you need to pretty much figure out where everything else... where everything is... by just paying attention. Now, if I recall correctly, they said that... The place I need to go to is... I think I need to make a left and another left or something? Yeah, we'll find it. Do, 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 do. Is it getting dark already, or is that just clouds covering the... That's cool. Those birds are hostile. Case in point. Oh, I staggered it. Okay. Yeah, you better run, you overgrown fucking chicken. You better run. Cool. That wasn't so bad. I got meat. Southeast Conflux Mountain. So wait, where where is the oh, does it mean that the complex mountain is to the southeast? There's the bandit camp up there. It says here it's six in the evening already? No way. Why is it already So I think where I was asked to go? Oh, 
Blister Borough is northeast of Surzo. But here is Surzo. Is it around here, I guess? And... Ooh, what's this? A supply cache. Why is there just a random supply cache here? Well, finders keepers. Those bandages will come in handy. Uh, for unfucking my health. That bird sure did a lot of damage too, didn't it? Let's uh, tidy up our wounds in case they get infected or bleed. But northeast, he said. So I'm assuming it's around up here in the mountains somewhere. Is that it right there? The cave? It's actually getting dark too. I, I'm going to have a hard time seeing very soon. Where is the... What are these? <laughs> these archways do not look natural. They are definitely man-made or creature-made or some kind. That is definitely creature-made. Check out the little mug on his face. Looks like a giant petrified frog or something. This must be the Blisterfall burrow thing that they were talking about. Because I remember fighting these things before. These are the troglodytes, right? Yeah. And it must be over here. Because down there was the bridge, and that's where the bandit camp is, and I don't want to fuck with the bandits. So I'm probably over here somewhere. I don't think the Trogs are going to much appreciate me invading their home, but they don't have any say in the matter. I'm going to stab the shit. I'm going to chop the shit out of them. Is that a female Trog statue or something? Welp, you're dead. Open adventurer's corpse. Ooh, a bow, some food. And is this a mine? Did I need to... Should I have brought a pickaxe with me or something? I'm barely starting on my adventure and I'm already almost full of stuff or fold up here. Luxe Lichet. A special dish of the Church in East which restores a fair amount of stamina and a large amount of health. Wow. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and equip some of these spike traps as well. So, how do I use this spike? How do I... Do I need to... Place in a tripwire trap, inflicting low damage on enemies that step on it. So I need to make a trap first. I can't just use them immediately. Leather attire. Improvised bedroll. Arrows. Shit. I don't have the skill to do that, so I can't even use those. So I'm just filling up my inventory with spike traps that I can't even use. Oh, it could be worse, I guess. 
Beginner's shortbow, but I have no arrows at the moment. I may all find some here. So I see a bunch of mushrooms, but I don't see any way obvious way to harvest them. Is there a way for me to walk silently? Yes. Yes, there is. I much prefer this music to the music they play in Skyrim when you enter a dungeon, and not just because the music, the du dungeon music in Skyrim gets really boring really fast. But because it's, I guess, um, more adventurous, I guess? Mining pick, a quarterstaff for beating people away. I'm carrying too much garbage, unfortunately. Increases your impact resistance. I need to drop some stuff or I'm going to be overweight. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Oh, okay. Soiled cloth that... Oh no! Oh god! They see me. Ah, uh, my stuff's on cooldown, my stuff's on cooldown. There's three of them now, great, great, great. Ow, ow, ow. I'm dying. Good thing I'm not playing on hardcore mode. And good thing these NPCs are actually fairly dumb, as far as I can tell. One of them is almost dead, actually. One of them is now dead, actually. Oh, shit. I'm dead. Shit. Yeah, if this were hardcore mode, I'd be dead already. <laughs> Where am I going to respawn, though? Bandit camp? Cyrano? Do I lose all my stuff, too? Is it just... or... Hey, Ace. Glad you can join us. What's the news? Um, I'm not going to be playing Middle Unit any t or anymore for God knows how long. Just like speeded. I was actually kind of considering just uninstalling Middle Unit. You fall to the ground broken and defeated. As you start to black out from the pain, you sense someone standing above you defending you. A warm voice reaches you through the haze of the pain. Well there now, it ain't your time to die today. Stay with me, I'll look after you. Stars and campfires dance in your fevered mind. Your eyes flutter open and you find yourself someplace safe. A warm campfire roars nearby, a note in a mysterious bottle propped up beside it. You are alone, but you feel like someone was just here a moment ago. There's much to be said about surviving on the charity of others. Hi, hi. Gep, huh? Gep's drink? Hey, you were in trouble and I gave you a hand. I can't stay to watch over you, but I tried to make sure you're comfortable first. Have a flask of my own personal brew on me. You owe me one, pal. Gep, if I ever find you, I will certainly pay you back eventually. Oh, great. I lost everything, didn't I? Wait, nope, nope. Haha! -ha. Thanks for saving my stuff too, Gep. That would have been a pain in the ass if I lost that too, you know? Where am I, anyway? Where did I respawn?
what a strange way to write turnip. Well, since I have a campfire here. This was for restoring fire. Mm-hmm. In depth to gap ink. Um I raged a bit in Discord about what was going on in East, but basically what happened was my game hard froze. My computer hard froze during Metal Unit. And I had to hard restart the computer hard restart my computer, and even after I did that, it was still fucked up. So I was able to manually restart my computer using control using control delete because I had no mouse. And when I got back in the game I found out that my metal unit save had been deleted, and it saved into the cl into the Steam Cloud as deleted. So I lost 20 hours worth of work just then, and I was actually really angry about that. And when I was searching on the Steam forums for a solution, I found out that Recoupal, the person that's been watching our metal unit streams, is actually the developer of Metal Unit. So yeah, I spent a great time raging about that and I just I'm kind of done with Metal Unit now I don't want to play Metal Unit anymore straight up I'm that pissed off right now <laughs> so maybe I'll play Metal Unit again eventually so I can actually read the ending of the game but not for a while so instead we're playing outward and man, is it beautiful. Has some feedback, yeah. I doubt, unfortunately, I doubt I'm going to see Recoupal again unless I stream Metal Unit again. So I don't know if we'll ever see him again in the future unless they go back to the VODs and, you know, watch the VODs of Metal Unit. dangerous to actually move around at night, so I better go to sleep. In-game, I mean. Also, since I was dragged somewhere else by Gep, um, I don't know where I am because there's no way waypoint in this game. But, let's go to sleep. Next to the warm campfire. Have some food. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? It's just... It seemed like a very... Archaic, it seemed like a very outdated, a very I don't remember the last time I had a game that I'll cr that where crashing would destroy your save file like that at best corrupted So I feel like I'm in the 2000s or something. This just seems I Don't know and also, some other people complaining about this issue in the forums, and their responses to some of those complaints weren't the best. It was kind of like a, oh, you must have exited the game during the game. And I'm like, okay, so... I don't know. Fortunately, your rest goes without incident, and you feel better prepared for the day ahead. All right. Where's my lantern? The 
Is this the cave entrance? Nope, I found stuff. Arrows! Cool. I need arrows. Unfortunately, my thing is kind of over full again. And I can mine this mana stone and take it back to town. Try to sell. The only problem is I would need to figure out what direction town is. So I sure as hell don't know. I need to rearrange my stuff. Pouch is overweight, which, but I guess it's better for my bag to be overweight than my pouch. Man, this game looks beautiful. Some eggs? Alright, so there's a landmark over there. Some floating giant crystal thing. Now, where is that in the game map? I'm assuming that whatever that thing is, it's probably safe for us to go towards. Ukraine Security Council is streaming to YouTube. Are they officially declaring that Russia is trying to start a war with them or something? Yeah, that's a beautiful sunrise. It's a shame I don't have the GOG um, overlay running right now. Although, I would take a screenshot of that. Or I could just do that, I guess. Sure. Where'd it... Where'd it go? Oh, they just haven't streamed their meetings on YouTube, huh? That is beautiful. I wonder if running around with heavy packs and stuff also gives you experience. Just be like getting more muscular from carrying heavy loads all day. It also just occurred to me, I could actually drop my bag. And what I've seen some re historical reenactors do is drop their bags during a fight so that they can move around a lot quicker and then pick up their bags when they're done fighting. I would take your load any day, Ace. How about that? Yeah, I am too easy, aren't I? Yes, yes, I know my bag is overweight. Let's eat some grilled salmon, since it's going to spoil soon anyway. Do I really need... Uh, a, can I make some... Godberry, can I use... Can I make some Godberry jam? 
just with my bare hands, or do I actually need... I guess you can't. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I am. So everything is purple, which means we're next to close to Conflux Mountain, which is not where I want to be. The sun's rising over there, which means that must be the west over here. I like that I actually have to look at stuff like that to be able to tell where the hell I'm going. My guess, therefore... Is that I should go towards the sun, and that'll bring me closer, to, or bring me back to Sirzo, or in the general direction of Sirzo, I should say. This music playing tells me that I am right because it means we're still in Chernosis, Chersonis. Well, I guess this whole section, whole area is Chersonis, isn't it? I wonder what that is up there. Might as well eat some of these berries so that they don't all spoil. Nothing like a little light snacking. Barely sure I don't need to diet on this journey anyway. What is this place? Looks like an industrial zone or something. Immaculate's cave? What's an immaculate cave? Something tells me I shouldn't go in here yet though. Isn't that a beautiful mountain? So if the sun rises in the west, and this is the mountain, I must that must mean I'm probably facing it from here. Yeah, I love the music. This music is actually the reason I decided to go ahead and try getting this game. I thought to myself, someone who spends the kind of money to orchestrate this kind of music for the game must have put a lot of effort into the game itself so it's probably worth a try I also can't really get enough of like listening to this music it's very calming it feels very adventurous I wonder where that thing is that giant crystal up there. There's something over here, too. Some sort of camp? Oh, there's a dead person in here. Work pattern worker attire, a bunch of arrows. And I'm really overweight now. Like, disgustingly so. Far too much, it looks like. Unfortunately, I'll need to... Take care of a bunch of these things. Ocean for Kass. Superior egg and fish dish with healing properties which restore health, stamina, and mana. And these things last for a while, too. I guess I don't really need two of these, do I? I gotta get out of the Skyrim habit of just picking up everything I see. But... 
can I like, can I cook? All right, just let me let me get out of the tent. Let me let me get out of the tent. I'm gonna have breakfast. No, I am not. I am not. I swear. Hmm. Awesome. Some hard boiled eggs. <laughs> I don't think you can make garbage jam into anything. Boiled garberries? Smart idea. <laughs> what else in here in my inventory needs to be? Grilled mushroom recipe has been learned. Thank you. I have grilled mushroom, I have grilled cook, dry mix. <laughs> Crumbling fungus that barely provides nutrition. Where is my crumbling fungus so I can have a nice, nice breakfast? <laughs> Tomorrow is two, 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 huh? Apparently I'm hot right now. Well, yeah, I'm sitting right next to a campfire. I don't know what they expect from me. Uh -huh. Oh. I can't just pick up my campfire again, huh? Interesting. I guess that kind of makes sense. Why would you do that? We're still lost. I don't know where the hell the cavern is that I was trying to enter last time. But better than nothing, I guess. And I still haven't found the road. Because I can't find, don't know where the road is, I don't even know I'm going the right direction. Oh, there's someone over there in the distance that looks very friendly. Fairly friendly indeed. Lost this indeed. Technically, this is around when the stream should end because I started at 8. I started almost exactly in time today at 5. But I don't want to stop playing right now. Are these ruins? Those buildings over there in the distance look brand new. Is this a fort? Where am I? This is not the Cabal of the Wind, is it? Well, let's go over there anyway. And walk around this giant fucking shrimp. Giant shrimp. Maybe I can sell some of my wares there. Oh no, these are just ruined ruins, aren't they? A 
Are we over here? In the four? Are we... Well, we're not over here. Oh. I know where we are now. See those two rocks? We're in the fort. So we're too far... We're way farther away than from where we're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. That looks like a monster. Let's not antagonize it. Some of these things were things that need to be added to Skyrim as mods. Like the fact that your backpack goes on your back, as long along with your quiver of arrows, and also your hatchet. All the little things that they thought of when they made this game. Tripwire trap. Cool. So, tripwire trap. Cool. Now we can deploy. Okay. So, what we do is we put the spikes. Wait. Okay, so what we do is we combine the Hmm. Maybe I need to deploy them and then I need to attach the thing. Okay. No. Oh. Something tells me there's no one actually living in this fortress. And that this is actually a giant dungeon. That I shouldn't be entering yet. Oh, yep, yep, we're not supposed to be here yet. Shit. Let's, let's leave. See, even a fucking skeleton on the ground. Why did I think this was a good idea? This music's loud. Okay. On the, well, at least we found arrows and such. Let's try equipping this. Bag overweight. I know. I know my bag's overweight. Stop telling me about that. Equip. Equip the arrows. Are the arrows equipped? I guess I don't really need all this stuff, do I? I need to drop things or I'm going to have a, continue having a bad day. As much as I don't... I mean, I could always make another quarterstaff, I guess. Drop the quarterstaff. Wow, what a difference that made, it turns out. Like, I, it's like night, or day, night and day. I could really actually run now. So, I went the completely wrong direction. Earlier. Is there... I wish there was... Is there like a path? Can I follow the path this way? Okay. So, if we're looking at the map, I need to go down here. At the crossroads, I need to make a right. And then I need to make another right. And I need to make another right. And I'll just... Okay. Wait, 
But yeah, this game is very pleasant. I would be more than half... I would love to just keep streaming this game, honestly. I'm kind of pissed that I won't get to see the ending of Metal Unit for a while. And also pissed at the game, period. But is this the sort of thing you guys would not mind... Would would like to continue watching? Is this interest you? The exploration games like this? Also, I just realized that the bag actually gets fatter depending on how much stuff you have in it. I'm not gonna lie, that answer does not fill me with confidence, but okay. We'll see how playing this goes. I like how violently purple everything is. I'll tell you though, when I um, start stream, when if I when I stream this game, I'm probably gonna be making a lot of. Seth, uh, Seth jokes. Hey, hey, people. Lol's here. Once again, we are streaming... Good old Metal... Ha, kidding. We're actually streaming outward because Metal Unit up and died on me. Do, 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 do. I'm tempted to kill that chicken, but I don't have any more room in my pack for stuff, so it's better if I head back to sell some of these things. And go once again into the out wild blue yonder. So we're going here. Go here. Instead of going right, we're just going to go forward. Ooh. Another quarter staff. Some of your fruits. Give me your ceviche. Ooh, ceviche. And travel rations. Okay. But not bring any of the. Oh shit! They. I guess that they were not happy to see me looting. I guess I know where. Wait, how the fuck do you use this? Oh, shit. Am I dead already? Wow. That was actually really sad. It looks like I'm being brought back to Shurzu, I guess, because I was close enough. Because I didn't know how to fire arrows, it didn't occur to me to aim. You can't stand anymore. The very act of breathing is becoming difficult. Pain wrecks your body as your consciousness fades. You awaken to the sight of a huntress from Shurzo pouring water into your mouth. Leaning on her, you manage to hobble back to Shurzo, more dead than alive. She refuses payment and leaves you with a firm pat on the shoulder. Except this time, I lost my bag and all my loot and all my food. And I'm dying, bleeding to death. So unless I go back out there... Oh my god... This game is brutal, man. Just fucking brutal. I have to eat some berries. 
to restore our stamina. Do I dare go out back there into the wild to try and get my stuff? I don't even know where it's going to be. It might just be... Like, I don't know if they looted my body or what. Like, I don't know if I'll go there if I'll find my bag just in the ground, or if it's just gone. This game really is brutal. And I like it. I kind of like that. You can't fuck around in this game. It has all the immersion stuff that I've had to mod into Skyrim, basically. So I'm here. If I go to make a riot, I should hit. And I think I found where the carriage was. It's probably this thing. Since they were kind enough to leave... Uh, oh, I don't have a bow anymore. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't just shoot them from afar. But what the hell. Let's go see what we can see there anyway. As you can see from the bottom left though, I really need to like sleep or something. If you don't rest, your health and stamina is not going to go back all the way up. And sleeping outside is dangerous. You risk people doing naughty things to your body while you're outside in the cold alone. Yeah, it's the bandits hideout. We don't want to go there. We're going to keep going following this road down instead. Looks more like, less like a hideout, more like a base of operations though. Look at that shit. Uh-oh. Let's avoid the wildlife. I can't even, don't even have a campfire at the moment, unfortunately. Hey, bird, leave me alone, bird. Leave me alone. I'm going to cut your head off. The bird's about to be attacked by a bunch of these wolf things, and it's going to be funny. Exit. Stage left while they're distracted. Man, if my bag is still there, it's gonna be wild. Here's where I died. Alright. So my stuff is gone. I guess they actually did rob rob me, after all. That sucks. I'm going back to Shurzno empty handed, completely empty handed. That stings. But I guess if you're in this desperate situation in real life, it would be the same situation. What are you looking at, you stupid bird?
You know what? I bet your corpse would fetch a nice price at the market. Fucking chicken. I'm pretty tired though. So... I'm actually pretty sure I'm going to die or something. Oh, you want to go again? Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> you should have run, idiot. I can't eat any of this anyway because without a campfire. So, we're going to have to head back home anyway, but... I can't gather any wood. I can gather wood, but I can't use any of it. So, heading back it is, I guess. Today in stream, Lulz loses their fucking middle unit save. And then loses all their items in Outward. And they've barely played this game for even two hours. A shiv. An improvised bread wall. Hmm. Oh! So you can actually stash items away in these things too, can't you? You can! You can stash stuff in the items for safekeeping. So you don't need to just walk all the way back to crawl all the way back to town. It seems like such a simple thing, but that's actually really clever. I mean, I'm still shit out of luck, and I'm probably not going to be able to pay my debt back to the townspeople, but even if I get kicked out of the town, at least I know how to navigate this shit. Except at this rate, I'm going to end up starving to death too, because all my food was stolen by these fucking bandits. What time is it, anyway? Three in the afternoon? Oh, god damn it. It's you assholes again. And in fact, I think it's the exact bandits who killed me last time, isn't it? Ah. Uh... This time I've been taken prisoner in the in the bandit fort it looks like yeah makes sense though i was what fucking you force your eyes open and find yourself in a car with prisoners and corpses bouncing along the road a corpse hanging from the gibbet passes your vision as unconsciousness takes you you know that you've been taken prisoner by the moncom tribe Hours later, you open your eyes again, imprisoned by within the Moncom village. You have no doubt they intend for your corpse to join the others dangling outside. Is this how I die in the game? Is this the end for me? Wait, why did it give me a bunch of weapons to start off? Well, more importantly... How do I get out of here? Uh, 
I'm afraid there's no time for us to ha to just sleep this off. We have to get out of here. Where the hell am I? Montcom Clan Fort. That's a very big wolf thing. How do I escape this fort? There's the gate, but it seems way too easy. Oh, no. Does that dog thing see me? Hey, it's all my items that they stole last time. Literally all of them. What the fuck? Okay, this is... Okay, where is my... Okay, that's nice, but I need a bag. I need a bag. I can't carry all this crap in my pouch. Maybe it's over there? I guess we might as well dump the... shit that's... I don't need the things I literally cannot carry in me. I'm thirsty as where are my water skins? And also what do these symbols at the bottom mean? Very thirsty. Pain, physical resistances. Might as well eat food, I guess. I can't even eat the raw meat because it's going to spoil. I don't have a cooking thing. At least I got salt. Equip that. Okay, I can move around again. What's in here? Please tell me there's a bag. There's no bag. Well, whatever. Oh, shit. Really? Stuck in the village again. Uh, take iron scrap, uh, iron knee scrap, yeah. It gets worse. Every Wait, did I respawned where I died last time. Might as well keep the iron mace. But I can't bring all these other things with me. So I'll just need to bring armor. A lantern. Bandages. I can't use the food. So I don't have a campfire. And I'm not liable to find one anytime soon. Gep's note. My money. Well, what's left of my money anyway? I don't need to bring the salt. The cleaning cloth so I can make more bandages. I want to bring the food with me, but I know it's going to spoil. Okay. Shoes. Give me my fucking axe back. Thank you. I guess I'll have to abandon everything else. Unfortunately.
God, this game is hard. Well, I'm just probably not in the correct state of mind to play it. Your security wasn't very good, was it? They just let me walk out the front door. Of course, there's no telling. Yeah, it is a very slow moving game. And right now they're- OW! Fucking shit! I stepped on a spike trap just now. Yeah. At least I was brought home to Shirozu finally, though. Jesus. I was gonna. I don't know what I would have done if. The game had once again respawned me inside the bandit camp. I would have probably cried. And I'm running out of days to pay back my fine, and I'm out of money. So it's like, I can't, I'm... It's just... Shit just sucks right now in game. I think I'm delirious too. Yep, I'm delirious also. And dying of thirst. At least I'm not dying of thirst. Wait, yes, I still am. My first expedition to the wild out great out unknown has left me killed, beaten up multiple times, and losing, having lost everything. At this point, I just want to head back to my home and rest. Although, God knows if I'm going to be able to complete the quest now, or pay back my bill. I would make that joke, but in real life, I actually am kind of outdoorsy. Hi, Heroes Train. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, you came in near the end of the stream for today, to be honest. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding me? So, let me recap what, what for chat what just happened. While on my first expedition, I died in a dungeon. I died before I could even get to a dungeon. And then I got rescued by a random stranger. I was trying, trying to head back home and went the wrong direction and entered an abandoned fortress. And I was leaving the fortress to head back home and while investigating a destroyed cart, I got set on by two bandits. Who robbed me of everything I had? I got dragged back to Sir, to Sir, to Surno, Surno, Surzno, by a friendly townsperson. I left the town to go see if my stuff was still on the ground, and it wasn't there. And as I was heading back, I found the same bandit who kicked my ass the first time, who kicked my ass a second time, dragged me to their camp. And I woke up in the middle of the night and tried to escape and I found all my stuff. Then, as I was trying to escape, instead of just leaving the camp like I should have, I decided to go into another building to loot stuff. 
My raw meat has just rotted. As I decided to visit another building to lose some stuff before leaving the camp and got my face kicked in by another bandit who chained me back up and put me back into prison and the next day I woke up and crawled out of the bandit camp and as I was leaving the bandit camp I stepped on a spike trap which killed me again until I was dragged back here to Sersno and you know what? It's been so long that I could not pay back my fine in enough time and I lost my lighthouse and now I'm homeless with nothing to my name except for this stuff and if I eat this I bet you're gonna get sick because food rots in this game and I'm crippled and I'm soaking wet from the rain God, this is kind of like what it's like to be poor in America. But um, tis. But because I'm not playing hardcore mode, the game is never going to end. I'm just in, like, crippling bankruptcy right now. So what I could do is, since I relatively just started this game, I could just start the... I could just even... Yeah, this is not even hardcore mode. This is normal we're playing on, right? Since I can't play more Metal Unit anyway, I'm thinking that maybe I'll start the next stream with a fresh start of this game so I can pretty much introduce everyone to the world of Outward from the very beginning, hopefully without terribly fucking myself up. Or... Or I could just continue from here and from like rock bottom. I'm, I'm at the rock bottom right now. And see if I can make something of myself. So, what do y'all think? Should I make a fresh character to play with? Or should I continue from here? Literally rock bottom. What, what should I do? It's so bad, I can't even sleep. I have to go to the fucking inn to sleep. But I don't have any money to pay the inn for. You think so? I'm more than willing to do it that way, to be honest. I should at least go to the inn. At least I can't starve in this game. I mean, there's... I got berries to eat. The berries are free. There's no taxes on berries. If I could find a kitchen, I could make some, some bread. I could even make some berry jam. If they don't let me sleep in the inn... Wait, well, that's the town hall. That's not an inn. Is this the inn? Greetings, friend. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. What have you got? Lend me your ear. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Uh, well, whatever the case, I was supposed to end the stream half an hour ago anyway. Really wish I could end this stream on a good note, but um, no, everything I could go wrong has gone wrong. I lost my metal unit save, and I'm already off to a bad start in Outward. And the music is great. The music's the whole reason I even bought this game to begin with. But anyway, I guess we'll decide what to do on Wednesday when I try streaming this again. Um, playing it from a rags to riches isn't so bad. I know, right? You could kind of tell that they didn't really spend any money in the spend any money on the voices, to be honest. Uh, 
gonna send you guys to recoil. You're welcome. Sorry, it was kind of everything went terribly wrong, though. But I guess it happens. Yeah, why would I leave? I'm still pissed about metal hit unit, though. Like that is disgusting. I think I'll just go ahead and uninstall metal unit. Five viewers. Why do I have five viewers? Actually, I'm kind of surprised. Did y'all just come by to watch yeah, outward? I guess I know I'm streaming next month, next yeah, Wednesday. Like yeah, you're right, Millie. I don't want to make it a habit of being pissed on stream anyway. I hate that and watching other content creators, and I shouldn't emulate the worst parts of people that I watch. Anyway. No, I'm not doing it. That's I actually hate it when they do that, do that stuff. I know a lot of those things are, like, for show. They're not actually breaking a keyboard. What the fuck? I mean, I'm sure they could afford to do it, but I don't like buying stuff just to break them on stream. I think it, I hate the waste. All that fucking plastic going in the trash, not even recycled. But I digress. We're going to be uh, raiding Recoil the Hero. They made their own avatar, and they stream themselves working in Vroid and Blender all the time. You're a pretty cool person. Here we go! I get you. I get you. Yellow. Hi, Lol. 